Magandang araw mga bata! Ako si Ma'am Regine, ang teacher mo sa math. Today we will be learning about measuring quantities. This is a lesson for grade 7 mathematics, quarter 2, lesson 1. Kaya tara na, and let's do the math. Another quantity, we have volume and capacity. Ano nga bang pagkakaiba ng volume at capacity? When we say volume, this is the measure of how much amount of space is occupied by a three-dimensional figure. Capacity, on the other hand, is the amount contained in a three-dimensional figure. Yan yung difference ng volume and capacity. Volume ay yung a physical na lalagyan. Yung capacity ay yung kayang ilagay sa loob. Say, for example, dito nga yung lalagyan ay yung volume niya, yung sukat niya. Capacity ay yung nasa loob yung kinokontain na mismo. These are other units of measure using volume and quantity. Ito yung ginamit natin kanina, cubic meter, para ipang sukat doon sa volume ng square shape na swimming pool. Meron din yung katumbas sa English system. And for capacity, ang ginamit natin kanina ay liters. So, under din ito ng metric, pero meron din silang katumbas for English system. Aside from this, sa capacity, meron din tayo for smaller units such as teaspoon, tablespoon, and so on. Sa so part 1 ng ating discussion under measuring quantities, we have understood what the different quantities are and also the different units of measure being used under metric and English system. It's now time for us to convert those units. We'll be converting them from one unit to another. Kung tayo ay mag-convert ng units, meron tayong tatlo. It's either from metric system, i-convert natin yung one unit na nasa metric system papunta sa isa pang unit na metric din. That's metric to metric conversion. Or pwede rin naman na yung isang unit under English system ay i-convert natin sa isa pang unit under English. That's English to English conversion. May mga cases naman na pwede tayong mag-convert from metric system to English system or vice versa. Ibig sabihin, from English to metric. So, lahat ng mga units na ito ay pwede natin i-convert to another. That another quantity, volume, and capacity. This is an example of a word problem. A side of a square-shaped swimming pool is 10 meters. What is its volume? So, ito yung ating square-shaped na swimming pool na ang isang sukat ng isang side niya raw ay 10 meters. Ang tinatanong ay ang volume nito. So, since this is a square, we can say that all the sides measure 10 meters. Ang formula na gagamitin natin dito ay a cubed, a raised to 3. Ang formula ng volume, it varies depending on the shape. So, since square ito, ito yung gagamitin natin volume. Pero kung rectangular siya or triangular siya, iba yung volume niya. Pero dahil square ang given natin, ito yung gagamitin natin. A here is pertaining to the side. Ito yung sukat niya, 10 meters. 3 is an exponent. This is constant. Hindi natin ito pwedeng baguhin. Kaya ito ay magiging 10 raised to 3 or 10 times 10 times 10. Dahil ang exponent, it tells us how many times the base will be multiplied to itself. Since 10 ito, 10 raised to 3, multiply natin si 10 meters sa sarili niya ng tatlong beses. Ang sagot ay 1,000. 10 times 10 times 10 ay 1,000. 1, dahil 1 yung number, may tatlong zero, kaya ilagay dyan. 1,000. And then, ito yung ating unit, cubic meters. Dahil, tatlong beses yung meter may multiply sa sarili niya. So, kopyahin yung M, at dahil tatlo siya, lagay natin dyan 3. This rectangular swimming pool has a volume of 1,000 cubic meters. For capacity, if 1 cubic meters is equal to 1,000 liters, how much water can it hold? Itong nakuha natin na ito na 1,000 cubic meters ay ang volume nito, regular shape na square na swimming pool na ito. This is the amount of space occupied by this figure. Hindi naman natin ngayon ay ang kanyang capacity. Gaano karami yung kayang maging laman nito swimming pool na ito? Gaano karami yung tubig? If 1 cubic meter is equal to 1,000, gano'ng karami nga ba? 
gagawin natin ay we have to multiply 1,000 cubic meters by 1,000. At ang ating magiging sagot ay 1 million liters. Ang gawin natin dyan, para hindi na tayo gumamit ng calculator ay, since pareho lang naman na 1 yung number, kapihin yung 1 and then bilangan kung ilan yung 0. So itong 1,000 liters ay may tatlong 0, 1, 2, 3. At itong 1,000 cubic meters ay may tatlong 0 rin, 1, 2, 3. So dapat ang sagot natin ay may anim na zeros. Kaya 1 million. And then use the unit liters for capacity. Therefore, this swimming pool with a volume of 1,000 cubic meters can hold up to 1 million liters of water. Yun yung difference ng volume and capacity. Let's go to the conversion of English to English system of measurement. Third problem. How many pints of ice cream are there in a gallon? Ito yung ating gagamitin na conversion factor for volume under English system. Dito sa word problem na ito, meron tayo nakikita na dalawang units, pints, and gallon. Ang question dito ay, ilang pints ang meron sa isang gallon of ice cream? So, from gallon, i-convert natin siya into pints. Kaya ito yung gagamitin nating conversion factor. Wala tayong diretsyong gallon to pints. Kaya from gallon, i-convert muna natin siya into quarts. And then from quart, i-convert na natin siya into pints. Let's start. Ito yung size comparison ng gallons and pints. Ito yung one gallon. Ito naman yung half gallon. At ito yung pints. So, ito yung one pint of ice cream. Ito naman yung one gallon. One gallon, yung ating given, a gallon, one gallon. Multiply to the conversion factor for quarts. For every one gallon, meron siyang equivalent na four quarts. Paalala ulit mga bata, pag tayo ay gagamit ng conversion factor, laging nasa ilalim, laging nasa denominator, iyong unit na kapareho ng given. Para makancel out natin iyong kanilang units at ang matitira ay yung nasa taas na lamang yung gagamitin natin unit para sa ating sagot. Since meron na tayong ganito, 1 gallon multiplied to 4 quarts divided by 1 gallon. 1 times 4 divided by 1. Cancel natin yung dalawang pareho na unit. Hindi pwede tayo makapag-cancel kasi kapag magkapareho, magkapantay. Dapat isang nasa taas at isang nasa baba. 4 quarts. Saan na galing yung 4 quarts? 1 times 4 is equal to 4. 4 divided by 1 is equal to 1. And then, quartz na yung ating unit dahil quartz na lang yung natitira. Yun yung importance kung bakit kailangan hindi siya magkapantay. Dapat nasa ilalim yung kapareho ng given. And then, from quartz, i-convert na natin siya into pints dahil ang tanong dito ay pints at hindi naman quartz. 4 quartz multiply to the conversion factor. Dahil quartz this time yung nasa taas at siya yung ating i-convert, dapat nasa baba yung quart. So, for every one quart, meron daw itong katumbas na two pints. Four quarts multiply to two pints divided by one quart. Cancel natin iyong magkapareho na unit na quarts. Ang matitira na unit ay pints na lamang is equal to eight. And then, gagamitin natin yung unit na pints. Therefore, there are 8 pints in a gallon of ice cream. Conversion of English to metric system of measurement and vice versa. Word problem. How many liters is 16 cups of milk? Ito yung ating gagamitin na conversion factor. Dito, sa word problem, ang ating mga units ay liters and cups. Ang liter ay under ng metric at ang cup naman ay under ng English. Ang gagawin natin ay, from cup, i-convert natin siya into liters. So, ito ay English to metric. Ang gagamitin natin na conversion factor ay ito. For every 1 cup, meron siyang katumbas na 0.28 liters. Sulat natin yung given, 16 cups. Multiply to the conversion factor. Dapat nasa baba yung cup dahil cup yung given. For every 1 cup, meron tayong katumbas na 0.28 liters. Ganun ulit. 16 cups multiplied to 0.28 liters divided to 1 cup. 
cancel natin yung pareho na unit. Ang matitira na lang ay liters. Yun ang gagamitin natin sa sagot natin. At iyon ay magiging 4.48 liters. San galing yung 4.48? 16 times 0.28 is 4.48 divided by 1. Which is ganun pa rin. And then liters yung ating sagot. Therefore, there are 4.48 liters in 16 cups of milk. Another word problem. How many gallons of milk are there in 4.48 liters? In this word problem, meron tayong dalawang unit gallons and liters. Ang gallons ay under ng English system at ang liters naman ay under ng metric. So in this case, from metric, from liters, i-convert natin siya into gallons which is English. Metric to English naman tayo. Nagagamitin natin na conversion factor ay ito. For every 1 gallon, meron siyang katumbas na 3.8 liters. Given natin, 4.48 liters. Multiply to the conversion factor. Nasa ilalim dapat ang liters. Dahil ang given natin ay liters. Ang matitira dapat na unit ay gallon. So for every 1 gallon, meron tayong katumbas na 3.8 liters. 4.48 liters. Multiply to 1 gallon. Divided by 3.8 liters. Cancel natin yung parehong units ng liters. Ang matitira na lang dapat ay gallon. And then proceed. 4.48 times 1 is 4.48 pa rin. Divided by 3.8 liters. Ang sagot ay 1.18. And then yung ating unit ay gallon. So ito yun. 4.48 divided by 3.8. Approximately 1.18 siya. Rounded off to the nearest hundreds. Therefore, there are 1.18 gallons in 4.48 liters of milk. Conversion of metric to metric system of measurement. Word problem. How many liters of water can a 5cc container store? CC is a shortcut for cubic centimeter. This is the conversion factor that we will be using. Dito sa word problem na ito, meron tayong dalawang units. Liters and cc, cubic centimeter. Pareho silang under ng metric system. Ito yung kanilang conversion factor. For cubic centimeter, gagawin muna natin siyang ml. Then from milliliters, gagawin na natin siyang liters. It's also possible. So let's start. Given natin is 5 cubic centimeters. Multiply to the conversion factor. For every 1 ml, meron siyang katumbas na 1 cubic centimeter. Ang cubic centimeter ay nasa baba. Para makancel natin yung units. Ganun pa rin naman. Cancel natin yung cc. At cancel natin yung isa pang cc. Ang matitira na lang natin na unit kasi ay ml. 5 times 1 is equal to 5. 5 divided by 1 is 5. Kaya ang ating sagot ay 5 ml. 5 cubic centimeter is equal to 5 ml. Then from 5 ml, convert na natin siya into liters. Ito naman yung gagamitin natin na conversion factor. Kung mapapansin natin, ito ay katulad lang din ng conversion factor for length ng meters. Halos pareho lang ito, pero instead of meters, magiging liters na ito kasi volume yung ating kinukuha. Ito yung prefix niya. Prefix, tapos idudugtong sa liter. Say, for example, teraliter, gigaliter, kiloliter, Deciliter, centiliter, milliliter, and so on. Ito naman yung symbol. Idudugtong ito sa L. Nabawa, uh, ML, milliliters. KL, kiloliters, and so on. Ito yung mga katumbas niya. From decaliter up to teraliter, mas malaki siya kaysa sa liter. Ibig sabihin, for example, for every 1 decaliter, meron siyang katumbas na 10 liters. For every 1 kiloliter, meron siyang katumbas na 1,000 liters. Pero for deciliters up until nanoliters, mas malaki na yung liter sa kanila. Kaya ganito yung isura. Meaning, for deciliter, for every 1 liter, may katumbas na 10 deciliter. Ang kinoconvert natin ay ML to liter. So, ito yung gagamitin natin na conversion factor. For every 1 liter, may katumbas ito na 1,000 milliliters. So, for 5 ML, Multiply natin siya sa conversion factor. Dapat nasa ilalim yung ml, milliliters, para makancel natin yon. 
For every 1 liter, may katumbas na 1,000 ml. Kaya ito ay magiging 5 ml multiplied to 1 liter divided by 1,000 ml. Cancel natin yung dalawang magkapareho na unit ml. Ito magiging sagot natin ay 0.005 liters. 5 times 1 divided by 1,000, ito yung sagot. 0.005 and then liters yung natitira natin na unit. Therefore, a 5 cubic centimeter container can store up to 0.005 liters. Since this is under metric to metric system, meron pa tayong isa pang way kung paano tayo mag-convert ng metric system into another. Aside from this one. Pwede natin gamitin ito. So, yung nasa gitna ay liter. And then, itong lahat ng mga nasa kanan niya ay mas maliit na unit sa kanya. Ito namang mga nasa kaliwa niya ay mas malalaking units. Kino-convert natin ay ML to liters. Dahil ang ML ay smaller unit at ang liter ay ang bigger unit, we are converting smaller unit to bigger unit. Kailangan natin mag-divide by 10 ng ilang beses. 1, 2, 3. Dahil tatlong beses yung layo ng ML to liter. So, di-divide natin yung given natin na 5 ml kanina ng tatlong beses sa 10. So, 5 ml divided by 10 ng tatlong beses. Unang 10 ay katumbas nitong centiliter. Divide pa sa pangalawang 10, katumbas ng deciliter. At ito na yung sa liter. Kailangan nating i-divide yung ml ng tatlong beses kay 10. Instead of using a calculator, pwede tayong mag-move lamang ng decimal place. At dahil ang given natin ay 5, sulat natin 5. Lagay natin ang decimal point katabi ni 5. And then, imove natin yung decimal point ng tatlong beses. San galing yung tatlo na yun? Dahil tayo ay may tatlong zero. Yung zeros dito ang nagsasabi kung ilang beses natin imove yung decimal point. So, kailangan natin siyang imove na tatlong beses. 1... 2. At dahil walang kasama yung 5 as a number, kailangan natin maglagay ng 0. Pero kung may kasama siya, say for example, 123, imove lang natin yung decimal point. Pero in this case, since wala siyang kasama, aside from moving the decimal place, magdadagdag din tayo ng 0. So, dalawang beses natin siyang na-move, isa pa. Dahil tatlong beses dapat, lagay ulit ng 0. Then, ilipat natin si decimal point. At magdagdag tayo ng 0 before it. Therefore, ang ating sagot dito ay 0.005. Ito ay katumbas din ng 5 divided by 1,000. Cancel natin yung unit na ml. Magiging liters na siya. Ang sagot natin ay 0.005 liters. So, ganun din yan tulad nung kanina. Ito yung isa pang way kung paano tayo mag-convert ng metric units. And this is only applicable for metric units, hindi ito pwede for English system. And that's it for our video for today, mga bata. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Ang Teacher Mo Sa Math, for more grade 7 mathematics content. And please also keep on liking and sharing our videos para mas marami pa akong mga grade 7 na bata na tulad mo ang maabot at maturuan. Dahil ako si Ma'am Regine, Ang Teacher Mo Sa Math.